my sister Nadine. Miss Georgia, how you doing, cuz? What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? Nadine, my sister, on your honeymoon again. Got married last Saturday to Mr. Tony Harper. What's up? That's Sonny, Sonny's cousin. Sonny Revenue. One so true. I love you. All right? Um, Julius, what's up, Julius? You tell your mother, Miss Johnson, I love her. And it seemed like every time I see you two together, I get a little envious, but it's a good envious because nothing like spending time with your mother while you can, because I'm telling you, it's the best thing. And sometimes you don't realize it, but you will realize it. I ain't saying you, Julius. I'm saying the people that don't take their mama to the market. <laughs> the one I always complain about, they got to take their mama to the market or take their daddy to the market or take them to an appointment. <laughs> I'm talking about them people, all right? <laughs> All right, Brett, what's up? What, you want to wrestle? <laughs> Brett, I said, you, you want to wrestle? How you doing, my man? I love seeing you down State Street all the time. Um, I see you doing what you got to do. And I love to see a man with his kids. What's up? Right on, Brent. You got it going on. All right, you do. Janet, on your, you know, Janet, if, you can, if you're still out there, my sister is the same place, the same place where you at for a honeymoon. My sister there, too. You might have walked by like all this, you might have walked by her and you're like, wow, that looks like Dana. Nah, can't be. You know, that's my sister. She's right there where you at if you haven't left yet. I told my sister you was there. Uh, I said hello to your husband. I never met him before, but what's up, sir? Miss Jackson, what's up? <laughs> all right, Mr. Carl Post. What's happening, Carl? I met Carl a long time ago at, um, what was it, Building Square. And we've been friends ever since. Whoever thought this would last this long? Whoever thought friendship? That's why I tell my kids, be nice. Be nice. Thomas, where you, where you at, Tom? But your part, he's doing a good job. He got it hooked up for you, Tom. He got it, he's doing a good job. A happy belated birthday to you, you know? Bonnie, Bonnie, Bonnie. What's up, BB? Um, Brian, what's up? Dude, this tall. <laughs> All through high school. What's up, Brian? How you doing, buddy? Peace. Mr. Basketball player, I hope you're taking care of yourself. Every little bit counts. Every little bit counts. Every little bit counts. All right? Leonard Williams, what's up, Leonard? That's Leroy's brother, just in case you didn't know. <laughs> What's up, Leonard? How you doing, sir? Peace, love, and happiness. What? Oh, I'm sorry. That's your brother that's a boxer. Oh, you used to box too? I know you did. Just thought I'd get it in. Antonio Donardo. What? You want to wrestle? What? You, what? You want to wrestle? You want to do head and arm? You want to do head and arm? No, I remember. Mook. What's up, cuz? Mook, Mook! What's up, tell your wife? What's up? I remember you. What's up, your wife? You take care. Okay, I give a shout out to all them people. And um, listen, every little bit counts, y'all. Every little bit counts. Okay, now we're gonna get down and do some push-ups. Because I'm telling you, if you don't have no weights, push-ups is the best thing for you too. I tell people all the time, before we had cable, I used to do push-ups oh, all the time. Ah, let me get on this. I used to do them all the time. And you probably think to yourself, what is he doing? I'm doing more than you. I'm doing more than you. That's what you need to know. But you could do more than me if you try. Because every little bit counts. And I'm trying to give you something, a part of me. Okay, now we're gonna do these push ups this way, okay? Uh, do I need to back up? Uh, I back up some. Okay, here we go. I 
upper body. The push-ups, I'm telling you, this hard floor <laughs> is not doing me no good. <laughs> a lot of people, that's why shoes make a difference. A lot of people can't run on cement because they, they don't do them good, okay? A lot of people can't work out on hard floors. I'm not a fan of a hard floor. I prefer to have some gloves on, no matter what I look like, because um, knee pads, because I'm telling you, I want my knees to stick around a little longer, okay? All right. Here we go. That cardio, no matter how much shape you think you're in, you ain't in no shape until you do cardio. You ain't in no shape until you do some good cardio. tell people all the time it's not the way you look it's the way you feel here's the secret there are some people who may not look like they're in shape but, play, but can play some rugby there are some people who may not look like they're in shape but they can run up and down that basketball court. Otherwise, what I'm saying is don't let looks fool you. Please never, never ever let their looks fool you. Some people are very quiet, but I'm telling you, they can get very, very mean. And you may not know that until they snap and you can't believe it just happened. Listen, cardio. Nothing like it, and it's easy to do. If you don't have no weights, no weights at all, do some cardio, y'all. I'm telling you, cardio, cardio. Get in shape by just jumping around in your house. Jumping around. You don't have to worry about nobody seeing you, seeing all that sweat drop on that floor. Smelling you, you have to worry about none of that. Get you some push ups, get you some jumping jacks, and if your arm hurt, you got one arm. Here you go. Oh, wrong arm? Okay. Oh, you say you can't lift your arm that high? No excuse. Okay. Right here. Can you lift it this high? Okay, what? That hurts? You can't do that either? Okay, here you go, here you go, and you're looking at me and you're saying to yourself, that is so easy, that is so easy, do it, jump around, it's the little things you take for granted, 
you think this is easy jumping around like this. Some of y'all won't even bend down to tie your shoe. You got to put your shoe up on something because you don't want to go down that low. But if you remember when you was in high school, you went down all the way. So that is one of the signs is that you're getting maybe a little overweight or you're getting a little out of shape. You won't go down and tie your shoe. You got to put your leg up on something because you don't want to bend over. But bend over is a good thing. Because one day, you're not going to be able to do this. You're not going to be able to do this at all. So let's do it together now. Yes. The little things <clears throat> and I love to say that yes I do because it is a little thing <sighs> and it is a little thing to be able to bend over like this because some people got bad backs and they can't do this and I understand that that's why you should understand that you're lucky that you can do this <sighs> and I understand once again that some people can't do this that's why you, I'm being repetitive. Yes, I'm saying it over again, exact same thing. You should be thankful that you could do this. Don't take nothing for granted. Take nothing. And some of you should be lucky that you could do this. Because some of us do have a bad back. And they will tell you they wish they could do this. So you guys that can do it, and you don't have a bad back, take advantage of it. Take advantage of it. Because um, one thing I always tell people, I do not want a bad back. But if I happen to get a bad back, don't think about me walking like this. Think about the 58 years that I walked straight up, straight up, okay? Talk about me that way, you know? Talk about there's some things in life that you need to enjoy. <laughs> there are some things in life that you need to enjoy. <laughs> and I guarantee you, it's life. You need to enjoy your life. You have to. You have to, because before you know it, I don't care if it's 60 years, 58 years, I don't care if it's five years, 10 years, 50, it's gone. Like when you get sick in a hospital, you say, I'm gonna do this when I get better, I'm gonna do that. Or if you're in jail, you're gonna say, when I get out of jail, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. Everybody talk, excuse my word, shit, okay? What they gonna do. Everybody do that. But I guarantee you, and the biggest, excuse my word, shit is that they talk, oh, wait till summer come. I'm going to get in shape. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do so many things. The snow keeps me in the house. I can't do nothing. I'm going to walk. I'm going to do everything like Henrietta and my cousin, Pumpkin. I noticed that you guys be walking, Henrietta. I, I, I be watching. I see. I love when I see people trying to get in shape. And people may walk by and blow at you. Remember, they're not blowing at you because they're walking. They're blowing at you because they're probably admiring what you're doing. Anybody who's talking about you while you're working out, anybody who's talking about you because you're trying to get in shape ain't your friend. You need to realize that. They're jealous because you're trying to get in shape. And when you get in shape, the first thing they're going to say to you, was you sick? What happened? They ain't gonna believe you did it just for no reason. So I give you your props now. I give it to you, all right? So like I was saying, life is beautiful, but you have to enjoy it, y'all. Don't just look at me. Get that mirror and look at yourself and say to yourself, I have to enjoy life more. But everybody, back to the subject, everybody said they're gonna get in shape, everybody said they're gonna do this. 
And then half of the time, you know and I know, you're good for a minute, then you ain't doing nothing. But when you get to that point in your life, when you feel funny, like I said, being in a program, that you did not work out, you're there. You're there where I'm at. You're there where you should be. When you know you didn't work out today, you feel so bad about it. You're there. That's the motivation. I'm trying to be a motivation too. So let's do this together. Even when I'm not with you, because you don't always need a partner. I understand some of you need somebody to motivate you at first. Understandable. Anything to get you started, anything to get you going. But once you're there, <laughs> you don't need nobody because now you're gone. Only thing bad about getting a partner is that you get used to working out with them and they tell you they don't want to work out today or they tell you they can't make it a day, so you don't do it. That's the bad thing about having a partner. Now they don't want to do it, so you don't do it. So if you count on yourself and be about yourself, be whatever you want to call it, conceited or um, I don't know what the word is, but whatever it is, be it about yourself. Love yourself. Love yourself today, tomorrow, next week, whenever. Love yourself as much as you can. And I guarantee you, everybody else will love you automatically. But you have to love yourself. And you know if you're loving yourself. Because you know when people come visit you and you're constantly complaining, believe me, when they leave, they're complaining too about you. And they may not come see you because you, you're down in them. Hang around positive people. Be around positive people and you stay positive. Hang around somebody that want to work out and maybe you work out. You hang around somebody that don't want to work out, you're not going to work out as much. But you need something to motivate you. I can't be there all the time. But I'm trying. Motivate yourself. Yes. Motivate yourself. Get started today. Let this be the day. Like I always say. Let this be the day. And hello, Miss Kathy. How's your mother? Um, yes. How's your mother doing? How you doing? Um, big nose. All this. You know, motivate yourself to marry that girl you've been dating for years if she's listening. Motivate yourself to get that nose job. <laughs> Motivate yourself to quit drinking all that beer. <laughs> but the nose job I was joking about, all right? <laughs> because I need somebody to be around me with a bigger nose than mine. <laughs> to take away the distraction from my nose. And they look at your nose. Hey, I like that, okay? Ah! Listen, it's my program and I talked a little bit, but that's all right. Let's do this. Somebody asked me the other day, speaking of motivate, something about myself. Do I love myself? Why don't I show my body more? Like I said, I pay attention to all your requests. I listen to everything y'all say. So let's see if I can motivate you. It's not about a jealousy thing. I just want to motivate you because it's never too late. And plus, I take pride in what I do. And when I get older and I tell people, when I was 58 years old, I used to look like this. Nobody would believe me. But some of y'all somewhere seen this program. Y'all can tell them, I remember he did look like that. 
So when my kids get older, you can tell them what their daddy used to look like. Motivate yourself to do stuff. Listen, don't worry about what people think. Love yourself. I get, believe it or not, I'm gonna tell you something. I get insecure too. I really do. Sometimes I go to the beach, I got clothes all on. Because I think, people think, I'm trying to show off. That's it. I'm telling you straight up, I'm being truthful with you. So, sometimes early in the morning, real early in the morning, I walk around my neighborhood without a shirt on because I know there's no traffic. But when I go out of town, I am free. I, I just walk around, no shirt on, whatever, because I don't think people think that because they don't know me. See, everybody get insecure about certain things. Some people take care of themselves and they just don't want to show themselves. But me, I get insecure and I think people think he's trying to show off. So that's why maybe sometimes I always got a shirt on even when I go to the beach because I get insecure too, all right? Oh, let's get some setups here. That's what we can do. Let's get some setups here. That's what we can do. I'm not going to touch the ground, okay? I only got a couple minutes. My time is up. But listen, every little bit counts. But you wouldn't know that because you need to be motivated. I gotta put my shirt back on. I just want you guys to see. Sometimes I want you to tell you a secret. Sometimes I feel insecure about my body too. But that's just the way it is. All right? Sometimes we can't do something about certain things, but we can work on it. So work on yourself. Work on your motivation. Please. There's a lot of things you can do. A lot of things you can do with your life. All right, and I know you wonder where I go. Well, I'm right here. And I want you to know, this is what you have to do sometimes. I only show your head. You only show your head sometimes. And I want you to know, you're a beautiful person. In and out. Show your whole body. Start with that. Don't be so insecure all the time. This is what you look like, all right? And I know there's a lot more to you than your head. Listen, I am who? And what I just did was for me. But maybe you like it, maybe you don't. But I guarantee you somebody, somewhere, like what I just did. I'm no professional, I'm no expert, I'm not even certified, but what I am is who? W-H-O. And if you don't know who, <laughs> you better ask somebody. Spread the word and let them know who's on. I thank you. And once again, condolences to my kids, mother's family. And to all my friends out there, thank you for watching. And I appreciate it. There's more to you than your head, okay? Take care. And I see you later. I'm who? Later.